born in City County family, man. Listen, you guys, it's Tommy, CEO, checking in. Um, I'm about to get ready to pull off, you guys. For the ones that gonna be like, Tommy, why you see, but not on. I'm not pulled off yet. I'm letting my car warm up. Um, gotta go to a few places there. I gotta go to uh, Walmart. I gotta go to Walgreens. Um, I'm getting prepared because you guys know uh, Rosa Parks about to drop those pups. Um, I'm not gonna lie, to you guys. Last night she kept me up all night because she was panting and. Um, I know for a fact Rosa Parks Little is going to be a little bit more complicated because you guys know she got an infection. So with that being said, um, it's going. It, there's a lot of risk factors that come with that breeding. You know what I'm saying? Like she could possibly have them early. So you guys know she's on bed, bed like it's like bed rest for dogs. Um, the same thing as, as women. You know when they're on bed rest, you don't let them play, you don't let them run, you don't let them go outside like that. I let her go outside maybe once every two or three days to walk around and scratch her legs, but she don't really like to go outside like that. Um, she like to go outside, get the fresh, get some, you know. So I just like her to get some sunlight, get some sunlight, and she literally turns around and go right back in the house. Um, but I'm, I've been keeping my eyes on her, man, because again, like I told you guys, you know, she got a few complications going on, so I just want to make sure. So far, so good. Everything's been good. Um, haven't had any complications. Haven't had any uh, um, any more mucus come out as bad as it was before I put on antibiotics. Also, I haven't had any um, discharge like that. I haven't had, you know we haven't had an abortion. That's the good thing. Shannon will be here. Um, I think tomorrow to do my ultrasound on um, Benny Jean because you guys know today makes day thirty one on Billie Jean. From when I did her two TCIs, and also on Bertha today, it makes day 30 for Bertha, so she'll be here tomorrow to knock out those. Um, also, you guys, today makes day 17 for my fluffy Karen Frenchie, so hopefully she took. I'm not gonna lie, to you guys, I know some of y'all wondering where I've been. Tommy, where you been, man? Like you ain't been posting like you can certainly do. You guys, listen, I'm down with y'all, man. Like I've been really just like. Taking a break. Now, I've been relaxing, spending time with my kids, spending time with my family, you know what I'm saying? Like, things that I normally really get to do. I normally don't really get to spend time with my kids and family like that because I'm always working, bro. Like, people think sometimes that only your business, only your own business, meaning like, oh, you get all this free time, you make all this money. Like, it's not all it seems. I mean, yes, you, you are your own boss, I can say that, but it's not as easy and as, like, I walk in the park, people think. Like, you got to think about it. When you're an entrepreneur, you make your money. So if you don't get out there and hustle, you don't make no money. You feel what I'm saying? So like, you know, your money and everything's based on you. And I'm not gonna lie, you guys, I'm a hard working dude. Like I put in a lot of work off camera. Like I know y'all see, you know, the 30 minute videos every case is, but behind cameras, man, behind clothes, well, I put in a lot of work. I have a lot of dogs that I clean, have to keep up the part with, have to make sure they got shots, the whole nine yards, you guys. Um, but I'm back, you guys. I got my mojo back. You know what I'm saying? I spent some time with my family three, four days. You know what I'm saying? Took some time off. Um, spent time with my daughters. And I really enjoyed that, man. I always remember, you guys, family is number one, man. Spend time with your family, man. Like, I don't care about being in the streets. I don't care about partying and having fun. I care about making money, creating um, wealth for my family and for my kids. You know what I'm saying? Creating that. That, that wealth so when they, my kids get older they can have that generational wealth and just spending time with my family man like everything else for the birds I can care less about you know what I'm saying I just want to spend time with my kids my family you know what I'm saying have fun with them take them to water parks theme parks the whole nine yards and just make money and create these vision of bulls man that's what we're going to keep doing you guys um, but take y'all on this venture we got to go to Walmart uh, gotta get, I got to get a, a good amount of stuff you guys so I'm going to get everything going you guys um well, there was something else I had to tell you guys. I don't remember. Um, I'll show you guys everything else when I get back. Officially, um, most of the snow puppies have left. I got my one I'm keeping outside, you guys. I'll show them to you guys when we get back. I'll show you all that when we get back, you guys. Y'all just stay tuned, man. I'm going to show you guys. I ordered. So, everything that I'm going to pick up is not everything that I need, you guys. Like, um, this litter is a little more complicated. And again, like I told you guys, so I bought out the weapon box. You know, like I bought not the weapon box. I'm sorry, you guys. This litter is gonna be a little more complicated. So I bought out the incubator. I bleached it down, desanitized everything because I might need it. I don't know yet. I really won't know just yet everything until the pups come out and they're in surgery and he's able to cut her open and look inside her and see what's going on because he'll be able to more from the ultrasound it looks okay. 
but when he get inside of her and open her up, that's when he'll be able to see, okay, hey, this and that. And there's a possibility, you know, a lot of things can be going on, you guys. Like, there's a possibility the infection can, can, you know, be so bad to the point where she can't even nurse the puppies. I might have to tube feed them. I might have to bottle feed them. I might have to, you know what I'm saying? Like, they might not even be able to get on her milk. Her, might, her milk might be contaminated, you know what I'm saying? There's also situation where you know there's a lot of different things man like with these puppies man that's why i'm trying to be very hands-on and very like hands-on with her in general to make sure everything's on good um but um so far so good from what i can see it looks good also tomorrow when shannon come i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna make sure um no, no, Shannon won't, I'm sorry, you guys, I'm saying it the wrong way. Shannon won't be here tomorrow. Shannon will be here in about two days. Because when you guys get this video, it should be on, like, Sunday. Yeah, so Shannon will be here on, like, Tuesday. I think, like, one of those days. Tuesday or Wednesday, Shannon will be here. Um, so she'll be here on one of those days. But I'm also going to have Shannon throw an ultrasound on uh, Rosa Parks to be sure those puppies got heartbeats and all that. Remember, I told you guys, vet told me every week I should be getting ultrasounds to make sure they're good. But um, you guys know my old trick. I put my phone up to their stomach. Put the light on them and see if they're moving around. Um, I think I want to see I seen some moving around, but it was early in the morning, so they could have been asleep. But I catch y'all in a little bit, guys. Love y'all. She got back home, right? And um, she's doing okay. She's still panting. I want to show you guys some. Well, first off, let me show you guys everything I got like set up and ready. So this is not, and this is not everything, you guys. This is pretty much everything, but it's not everything. Um, my game plan, as of right now, everything's set up over here in this corner, but. Everything will be going over there, um, cause that's where I sleep at, you guys. So I'm, I bought a. Uh, you guys know I had the old welcome box, which is made out of wood. I threw that away because that that welcome box done been through. I'm talking about pfft, twenty something litters. You feel me? And that wood, that wood carries bacteria. So I threw all that away, got rid of it. I ordered me a new um, welcome box, like 125 on Amazon, something like that. I, you guys know I got my stuff right coming soon, so you guys can see that. Um, but. Um, like I told you guys, it's going to be set up over there. I'm going to have this, which is my incubator. I'm going to have that set up over there. Um, every, so everything i got so far, you guys, I want to be, with this litter right here, I want to be extra, 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 extra careful because you guys know she have a lot of problems going on right now. So I want to be extra careful with this litter. So I'm going to make sure I wear gloves with everything. And you guys know me. I'm, I'm big anti-glove. I don't care about none of that. But this litter, I don't know if I'm on point with everything. So... Got me some gloves. I got me some iodine swabs. So the iodine swabs, you can get them from offline or you can get them um, at Walgreens. I got them at Walgreens because they're way cheaper than Walgreens. It's only 10 of them. But I mean, hey, all this is good for you guys. When the pups are born, um, you know, they umbilical cord. You know I'm saying keep from getting infected. You break it and you hit it with the iodine swabs. These are very handy. Normally, you guys, I use wipes and shit. But like I told you guys, with this litter right here, I want to be very, very, like, particular. That's why you might, you guys might see a lot more things that you guys haven't seen in any previous litters that I've had because this litter right here, not one, this is my first, um, Embry, well, lion breed, Embry, it's whatever, regardless of the same shit, it's an Embry, you feel me? And this is her back to her uncle. So this right here is very important to me. Like this litter right here is very important to me. Like forget the money, like just the litter and the bulls in general, these are going to be some next, next, like this is going to be one of the best let us, I, and I'm not gonna lie, my monkey puppies look nice, they look amazing, but these right here, like it just get better and better. You guys know every litter I outproduce the last litter. Every single litter I outproduce the last litter. That's my whole game. Every time I produce litter, I want to get better and better. So the iodine wipes are for the pups and they're a better cord where you clean them, the gloves. I got these right here because long story short, you guys know I got these, which are the, the nipple feeders, and I have my tube feeders, um, tube feed kids. Everything's brand new. Um that way if she had a pups. And she does have an infection where it's bad, where her milk's contaminated and I can't feed her. I mean, I can't let them nurse off of her. I'll take over. You guys know, that's all we gonna need. That right there. I got two things to choose from. I got my nipple feeder, my tube feeders, my two feeding kids. Y'all know my eight, old reliable. I got, I was, so the game plan is this, you guys. I got two brand, one, new, two brand new ones here. I have two brand new ones in the kitchen. I have some brand new ones here also. I probably end up using these. I like these a lot better. Also, you guys, I ordered some brand new ones, and they'll be in when the welcome box will be in, which will be in the next three to four days. The welcome box should be in um, with my uh, two, my new two feet um, kit. So, I got this just, go, just in case we have any like, you know, have to clean any nose in like that. Boom! I got. More. I'm gonna get some more of this when that time comes. But as of right now, it's, I got about 
eight days, nine, ten days for the pups gear. So I just want to make sure I start gathering everything. Peroxide. What is the peroxide for? The peroxide is for her. So to clean her incision, that's also what the uh, back team and nail sperm is for, to clean her incision, you guys. So, um, was it i think it was um it was so it was a uh, sasha sasha the last that i had all the pups died her and her incision got a little infected because she she does a lot you know what i'm saying she jumps and try to do all the extra shit. so her incision got infected but um i've never had that's crazy god never had to happen but uh, i'm gonna make sure just make sure i'm on point with everything man i'm gonna make sure i'm on point uh this and this is gonna be then clean her incision i got the cotton swabs the cotton swabs in the room I'm gonna hit it with some uh, peroxide to make sure it's disinfected. You can also hit the incision with these right here too. So her um, C-section incision, you can also hit it with these too. Cause these, as you guys can see, it says kill germs and help prevent infection and minor cuts and scrapes and burns. So you can use that too. This also works amazing. I like this. You guys know I use this for my dog ears when they get freshly cut and always uh, antibiotic, uh, antibiotics. So always antibiotic ointment, antibiotic cream, whatever the case is. This helps a lot too. So that's what that's for you guys. Um, you guys know I got my covers. I don't know, as of right now, I only got six. Again, I got eight days before the pups gear, but I like to start getting everything. I like to start getting everything early. That way when I'm on point. So that way like when the pups gear, literally all I probably have to do is I probably got like six more of these. Um, I already got these, these are brand new. Everything gonna be brand new. Like I'm not using nothing from last litter. Like, so um, I wanna make sure everything's brand new. Everything's sterilized, brand new, clean, everything. Brand new puppy pads. I mean heating pads. I'm not using any heating pads from any last litters. All oh, that's gonna be brand new. These are uh, these are the extra large heating pads, the XXX, the two X, as you guys can see. These are the ones that stay on me. I told you guys, you guys know me, I don't use heating lamps. I don't I like heating lamps. I've used heating lamps in the past, and I've lost a lot of puppies because of heating lamps. But I mean heating lamps ain't bad. Don't get me wrong, heating lamps ain't bad, but every breeder, what well, litter is different. You got some breeder who might use heating lamps, you got this breeder who might use uh you know, weapon boxes, you got this breeder who might use incubators. It just depends. You got to just different strokes, different folks. It just depends on what works best for that person, that breeder. Um, but, and I've tried everywhere. You guys know me. I, everything I'm telling you guys about, I've tried everywhere. I've tried the incubator way. I've tried the weapon box way. I've tried the uh, heat lamp way. And what works best for me, for me and my cat, is um, just putting these heating pads in there. And put them in an open box and put a fleece over the top to keep that heat insulated. But I, again, like I told you guys, y'all know I do got my uh I cleaned it out last night. I bleached it down, desanitized it, everything, make sure everything's I just case. Cause these pups might come early, man. And I'm I'm very nervous right now, you guys, because I'm nervous because like like I had to cut the fan on. You know, y'all know she's only at 50 days, man. And technically dogs are pregnant between 58 and 62 days. And I'm not gonna lie, you guys, like, she got a lot of problems, bro. Like, just check her out. Y'all come a little closer, bro. She got a lot of problems, man. Like, she got a lot of problems going on, man. I just gotta, I just wanna, you know, make sure she's on point, man. But she got a lot of problems, man. Like, I'm gonna go ahead and pull her. I gotta check her temperature. Well, right now, she's not paying, but she was paying earlier. I'm gonna have to go get me a new um, thermometer. But, like I told you guys, man, she, she got a lot going on, man. Like, Rosa. Rosa, she like, don't bother me. Don't bother me, dad. Dad, I say, don't bother me. Look at this girl, man. Y'all just look at, man, y'all, y'all. This one of them litters right here, bro. Like, I'm talking about, like, amazing, sensational. Y'all see that? Look how she's built, man. And I know for a fact she gonna throw me color. And she's huge, man. Look at that, man. She definitely got that bape signature, man. And she went back to her uncle. So, like I told you guys, man, like, I just, I'm keeping my eyes on her, man. I got her on bed rest. Like the vet told me, she had finished all her antibiotics. Um, but the thing about her is this, you guys. So, her mom is Gigi. For the ones who don't know, Gigi had a few complications also. But, like, they weren't as bad as her. Like, you guys know me. I already, y'all remember, I already all ripped thought she didn't take. Remember, I told you guys that I thought she didn't take, but she did take. But it's like, it's just so much stuff going on 
with her is like, it's just crazy because it's like, okay, let me show y'all real quick. So, come here. So, if you come over here, you guys, let me show y'all real quick. So, like, she got a lot of stuff going on, man. Like, just check her out, y'all. As you can see, her nipples are swole. Right here, y'all see that? Her nipples are real swole. And I know that's mastitis. But the thing about it is, she's not producing any milk. So, you know, but mastitis, like, I'm, I'm, hopefully I'm pronouncing it right, y'all. Y'all know I be mispronouncing things. I apologize in advance for when I mispronounce things. But, um... I'm sure it's mascitis, man. Like, y'all comment down below what y'all think I should do about this mascitis, man. She's not producing any milk. So, like, it's not like, oh, my God, she's built with so much milk. You feel me? Because she's not producing any milk yet. But also, you guys, see, I look at her nipples. She ain't producing no milk yet, see? She's not producing any milk. She's not producing any milk. But the thing about it is also this, you guys. This is also the thing about it. The thing about it is this. Gigi was the same exact way. That's why I'm not too, too concerned about it. And then you guys like you look back at her vagina, her vagina swollen. Y'all see it? Like her vagina's real swollen, and like she got this little thing up under here, man. Like, come here, girl. Come here, big girl. I see it, man. Like she just got like it's swollen right here. You see that? Like she got things going on up under here, man. Like like I told you guys, man. That's a lot going on, man. That's a lot going on with her. Um, but like I'm not too concerned. I'm concerned a little bit, but not too concerned because, you know, I feel like it has got a lot better than what it was when she was in the doghouse and since I've been keeping her on bed rest. Um, but, you know, like I said, man, we're just going to keep it rolling. But some of the signs I'm really not too concerned about because her mom had the same sign. Like, the, the swollen vagina thing, I'm not too worried about because Gigi had the same thing when she was uh, pregnant. Her vagina got super swollen, like, just like that right there. Maybe, I think her vagina was a little bit bigger than that. And she was pooping on herself. It was a lot, but... I just got to make sure I keep it clean. I'm going to give her a bath in about two to three days. That way, before she go in surgery, she'll be all cleaned up. She won't have any, you know, yuck or anything on her. Also, you guys, the mascot. That's my main concern, the mascot is, you guys. Like, that's my main concern. Because, um, like, as you guys can see, it's like, you know, it's swollen, man. But, hey, we're going to keep rocking and rolling, you guys. I'm, you know what I'm saying? I got everything set up. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Also, you guys, make sure y'all watch the videos, man. Like, one thing y'all got to understand about my channel, I'm not the type of guy who's just going to post to keep posting just to post. So if I post a video like yesterday and it only got a certain amount of views, I'm not going to post again until that video get a certain amount of views. I'm not going to post again until that video get a certain amount of views. So until that video get a certain amount of views, I'm not going to post again. So y'all, please make sure y'all watch all the videos. Watch them to the end. Don't just skip through videos and pick certain videos. If you really support me, all of my videos are knowledge, man. Go watch all the videos, watch them to the end. And I actually support me. Leave a thumbs up, you guys. If y'all love me, y'all really mess with me like I say I do, y'all want me to keep dropping these videos, support me and show me love, you guys. Um, what else? Um, she just pooped, you guys. You guys, let me clean that up real quick while we're on camera. But... Don't pick through these videos, man, because I'm telling you, I will not I will not post another video until that last video got a certain amount of views. And that's just me. I'm not one of them guys who's just going to post the post. I'll post, I'm going to keep posting the video. No, I'm not. That's not me. If that video ain't got a certain amount of views on it, I'm not posting again until it gets that many views. Like, And that's just how I do. That's just me. You know, every YouTuber is different. But me personally, if that video don't got a certain amount of views that I'm looking for, I'm not posting again until it gets a certain amount of views. So that's just how I rock it, guys. Um, please, like I said, make sure y'all share the video, man. I'm, I'm at 69,000. I'm almost at 70K. Um, what, 30 more K and I'll be at 100K. You guys know at 100K, we're doing a pup giveaway, man. It's going to be a female, a juice daughter. Yes, I'm doing a juice daughter giveaway. All y'all got to do is get me to 100K. 100K subscribers. That's when I get my first plat. I've been putting a lot of work on YouTube, man, to help my people and grinding. Um, so y'all make sure y'all help me get there, man. Share the videos. Like, watch all the videos. The more the more y'all leave thumbs up, you guys, the more y'all leave thumbs up, the more the videos get recommended. So leave all the thumbs up, man. Help a brother out. Help a brother out. Check out, y'all. What y'all think, man? Y'all coming on. I know how y'all feeling. Y'all think she gonna go these days, man? Are y'all concerned? You know, y'all my family, man. Listen, y'all ain't just my supporters. Y'all are my family. I consider y'all my family. So, like, what y'all think? Tell me what y'all genuinely think. Do y'all think, like, she gonna be okay? Y'all think she gonna make these couple days? They are these these eight or nine days? Like, 
What y'all think, man? I'll comment down below. Um, but I catch y'all when we get outside, man. I gotta go outside and show y'all the puppy, show y'all where he at. Um, show y'all a quick update with that right there. Um, and that's it, you guys. I'll catch y'all on um, the next scene.